What if I was to tell you that you can make some alerts just like Shroud uses for free? Now I won't deny, there's probably a lot more complexity behind Shroud's alerts, but I'm going to show you a variation that is heavily inspired by Shroud's alerts and that you can make yourself for free. If you like what you see here, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And again, follow me on Twitch. Now, let's get into the video. All right, now that we have our webcam border created, hopefully you've gone through and created a whole suite of assets to use on your stream. Next, we're gonna work on some custom animated alerts to go along with this webcam. To get started, we don't need this to be 1080p. What we need is for it to be uh, just slightly larger than the webcam border itself. So I'm going to click on the frame here. I'm going to hold alt and I'll just drag this up and that'll make a copy. So now while the frame is selected, not the webcam, but the frame, we can come over here to the size and a good size for this that I found is 1600 by 900. So then if we just expand the frame and click on this group, we can align it uh, in the center. Next, we don't need this to have a white background. So if we click on the frame, go to the fill, you'll see the white fill here. Just hit that minus button. So now that you have that, all you need to do is hit export, export frame four, and just call it whatever you want it to be. All right, so once you're in After Effects, you're gonna create a new composition and we'll call this animated webcam alert. It needs to be 1600 by 900 to match the size of the, ex the frame that we just exported from Figma. And we're gonna set it to be uh, 10, uh, 10 seconds long because that's the default alert duration. You can make it as long as you want to though. Now that we have that, it's as simple as bringing in the asset that we just created. So I'll drag that in over here to my project. And now we can drag that down onto its own track. So here we have it. Of course, there's no animations. It's just a static image. We're going to open up the AE Juice Pack Manager. There's links in the description for all of this. So if you don't have any of these things, go down there, click on the links, and there will be very simple instruction guides along with all of these to follow. Um, and then you can come back here. Next, which one of these do we want? Um, I think I quite like uh, this first one. So I'll click this, I'll hit import. And so then I'll exit out there. And so now you can see we have it on its own track um, and we can, we can drag this around, we can rescale it, uh, whatever we want to do. So I want this to pop up over our, um, our subscriber icon on the webcam, right? Uh, so this is a bit big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit S on my keyboard and I'm going to scale this down a little bit until I think it is a more appropriate size, something like this. So then if we play this through, you can see it kind of pops from the, the middle of the star there and goes out. Next, let's add a little bit more. We don't want it to just have one animation. We want there to be a couple. So I'll go back to the pack manager here. Let's choose the second one here. Now we have this one. Again, this one is a little bit uh, too big. So I'll hit S on my keyboard and I'll scale this down uh, to something more appropriate. Now I want this one to shoot out to the side. So I'll hit R on my keyboard and I'll make this rotate 90 degrees. And then we need to line this up. So I'll hit Z, click and drag just so I get a little bit better view. Okay, so now that I'm here, I can tell this still needs to go down just a little bit more, maybe something like that. That looks good. So now you can see it pops off again from the middle there. So maybe I wanna have another one of these shoot out from the other side. I'll hit Control and D on my keyboard. And now I have two. It doesn't look any different because these are laid over the top of each other. So I'll hit R and instead of 90 degrees, let's make this negative 90. So now you can see we have it over here. I wanna drag this and I want it to butt right up against the other one. So it looks like they come out of the middle, right? So now they'll pop at the same time, just like that. So there we have it, we have our animation, but we're missing our sound. Now, inside of the pack manager again, if you click on a new tab, you'll see something called sound effects free. If you don't have that already downloaded, just hit the download button, um, and then once it's done, you can open that up. So I already have it open here, 
and it comes with all of these free sounds. We're looking for the whooshes down at the bottom. And now we need to just listen and find one that we think is appropriate. So I kind of like this first one. It's pretty short. I like it. I'll just hit uh, click on it and I'll hit import. So now the most important part here is we want this to actually play when our animation does. So if we drag this down here and we hit play, you'll see the sound doesn't go off as soon as this first animation does. So what we need to do, if we shrink this down, is we need to drag the sound layer to the left until it lines up. Okay. All right. That sounds pretty good to me. I think that's lined up pretty well. So now we only have a sound for the first animation, right? Well, maybe we want to have that same animation again, but for uh, the, or the same sound, but for the other two explosions. So what I'll do is I'll take that layer and I will duplicate it. And so now we need the sound to play when these pop, right? So I am going to just drag this back. So if we listen to the whole thing, so now we have that sound playing for both animations. Now you could play around with it and you could make it uh, a couple of different sounds. You could add a couple of different layers of animation to it if you wanted to. But I think that sounds and looks pretty good. The last thing we need to do is we need to take the webcam border we just need to uncheck that. Right. So now we can go to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Click on the Output Mode. And we're going to change our format. You can leave it as ABI if you want. Just make sure you hit RGB plus Alpha. I'm going to go ahead and export this as QuickTime. Again, RGB plus Alpha. And I'll hit OK. Now we can call this whatever we want. And then it's just as simple as hitting Export. There you go. It only takes a couple of seconds. Now I'll head over to the link in the description. I'll hit Browse. And I'll open that, leave this as uh, do not change anything else and hit convert now. So while that's going, let's go back to After Effects. We're going to go File, Export, Add to Render Queue. Under the Output Mode, instead of AVI, we we'll want this to be MP3 because we're only looking for the sound here. It'll only take a second. Okay, so now that that's done, we'll hit our button over here that says Save. We'll hit Add to Zip, click on this. We we'll want to save this. And then now if we open this up, we can hit extract all. Let's go to uh, stream elements, navigate to your overlays and hit create blank overlay. For the resolution, we wanna set it to custom because it needs to match the resolution of everything else. So 1600 by 900. And then the first thing we need to do is add a static image of our asset that we made. I'll drag that in here. I'll click upload and then submit. Now under position and size, make sure you set this again to be 1600 by 900. So then now we need to add our alert box. So under change video, we'll go to upload. And then now we can just drag and drop the WebM file that we downloaded. Here it is. So I'll hit submit, change this to be text over image. Under text settings, go to advanced, and we're gonna change this to be 700. Then we need to, on the layer, make it this position and size 1600 by 900. Now we need to upload our sound. I'm going to turn the volume all the way up here. I'll turn the volume all the way down for the video. If I hit emulate subscriber one, you can see down here in the bottom, it plays. I'll uh, go ahead and just hit this a couple of times so we can see it um, in action. There you go. So the animation plays. The text is here at the bottom. Um, if you want to move the text around, you can use the margin here. But there you have it. That's how you can make some custom animated alerts, just like some of the top streamers on Twitch. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and follow me on Twitch if you want to see some more. Thank you guys for watching.